today we got another 400 batteries from a company here in Sweden that they want us to reuse and we got them for free with shipping and I don't really know what it is but it is a power bank 4000 milliampere hours they're low voltage uh, but it's also supposed to be a live and good cell 26650s I'm guessing he said they were hard to open so let's have a go this one feels a little loose Oh, it actually has a lid. And there actually seems to be a small round power bank in this is just a protection. Forty-six millivolts. That's not impossible. But I was hoping for a little bit more. Very simple USB circuit. But I thought we can measure the voltage from the outside. I guess this circuit need at least three three volts to be able to get anything from the outside. So I won't even try. I'm gonna see how hard this dig out. So that's what we're getting and that's not that that's not that they can recover from very low voltages Especially since they are new so they have very little get the internal resistance as well And I actually bought uh, 10 pieces of a similar model that was very cheap and that I will be reviewing and selling in Sweden if it's any good Because this one was hard to find at a good price 19.1 that's fairly low, at least for lithium ion cells. But since it's just low internal resistance from probably never being used, there's a pretty good chance this can be revived. So I'm gonna try and do that. Uh, I might do it in this guy RCMC3000 since it's programmable. Uh, I'm using that for another project, so I'm gonna go get my spare one. Let's see, Delta Peak 3 millivolt. Let's just hit go. And it's actually it looks like it found something in slot one see using but you don't wanna so you have to charge it up from 150 millivolts and i usually do that by leaving them in a little color leaf 500 because it's always trickle charging the channels if it uh, senses connectivity uh, to get low neem cells up so you can actually test them so i popped it into one of these 26650 holders to be able to put my probes on it Yes, when I started this at 0 0.2 amps, it's jumped up to 0 0.8 volts and that's a really good sign that it's actually wanting to stay alive. I don't know if the NIM is any different from the lithium because it seems to do it in stages, 0 0.8, 1.35 and now 1.62. But as you can see, it's increasing rapidly, which is a very good sign that this cell wants to live. I usually feel on it and see if it gets hot. But since it has such a low internal resistance, I don't think that's going to be a problem. But just a few minutes in the NIM on the B6, I think it's enough to get it up to a voltage where we can actually test it in MC3000, which has a built-in temp sensor, which is really good for these kind of things. I'm also going to see that they can actually still hold the voltage we are putting into it. If the voltage drops down immediately to 0 0.15 again, then this cell don't want to live. But if it actually holds most of the voltage we're putting into it, it do want to live. So this is very exciting. 1.9. Now it's at least going to recognize it. But since it's a little bit lower, it might not charge. Let's see if it want to charge on the NIM setting. 
which actually want to charge the NIM cell even though it knows that's a high voltage for NIM. Let's see if it's actually charging. Now 2.2. Let's try and fool it that this is a new cell. Lion. I'm just gonna see if it starts charging. Yeah, start charging as Lion. And this one actually had the temp sensor in here. You can set the cutoff temperature if you're worried. I am gonna be testing a few of these to see that I can get some kind of actual capacity from the cells and I'm hard this to rewire and then I'm probably gonna be selling them off at auction. We sell, we have sold auctions every Sunday for six years. So we have a lot of people following us and waiting for uh, odd but very cool cells. And I think a lot of people will bid on this since they have never been used. They are a little um, ugly looking. You can have them in these kind of holders or you can add new heat shrink tubing and they will probably work as new. From my experience in rewiring cells, they usually have full capacity even at a very low voltage. And you have something cool to play with.